Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're going to take a look at a front hydration system. This is the XLab Hydroblade. It's a, as you can see, a vertical aero hydration system. Now the first point to bring up is I've just said it's a vertical hydration system. I've been a big fan of XLab's uh, Torpedo and if I've got one tiny criticism of this one it's the fact that because it's long if you're on a slope depending how you've got your straw you can actually not get hold of liquid uh, until you get back to the level or tip the other way um, it, it's a it's a bit of a small gripe but it's certainly something that if you've got a much more vertical system the dipping and tipping you're still going to get at the bottom of the water bottle so here's the first plus and that is the key reason why literally two weeks ago I used this system at Ironman Maastricht because albeit in the Netherlands you might think it's flat the bike course there's a big loop in the bike course that has over four and a half thousand feet of climbing so it is actually quite hilly and this was my preferred choice and spoiler alert it was brilliant but let's get on with the actual review of this. First off, what do you get when you unpack it? Well, obviously you get the water bottle. Uh, it's a good size. Uh, XLab say that it's 828 millilitres. What I can attest to is I've filled uh, a drinks bottle, a measured drinks bottle, so a shaker to 800 mil, put 800 mil in, and there is a little bit of space at the top. That's a good size. What does that mean? Well, what it means is that if you are, the trend now is at aid stations to get 500 mil bottles. If you're near the empty, nearly empty, but been drinking, but you still got some fluid in, you know you're pretty good at being able to tip 500 mil in and you're not going to overflow it and, and cause an issue there. So that's the first thing. It's a good size. Ultimately, if it's empty and you've got a 750 mil bottle, that's going to fit in as well. So it, it holds enough fluid to get you between stations on most occasions. With that bottle comes a mounting system. It's a really simple but very effective mounting system. And those of you that have used XLab products before will be uh, um, used to this. It has spaces for your aero bars it sits on top of your aero bars and we'll show it fitted in a moment with velcro clippings this it's adjustable so you can widen it and it will fit from 80 to 160 mil width that's center to center on your aero bars so it's going to fit pretty much any aero bar setup that you've got it's designed for 22.2 mil bars so the standard size XLab will make a custom one of these if you get in touch with them and you have some strange size of aero bar. On the front of this system is a little rubber band. It's, it's not just a little rubber band, if I pop it off, it's molded so that you keep the aerodynamics and this is what holds the bottle in place. So housing, bottle, slots on, and arguably that could be enough however this with this little aero molding simply goes round and again I'll show you that in a moment obviously in the top of the bottle we have the straw it's a long straw it's got a really good bite valve so what you don't get is is very much water or fluid dropping down so on your next drink when you suck in you're getting air so definitely cuts down on bloating and that side of things it comes with a stiffening tube so your drinks tube can fit through this and you can cut down to make it optimum for you to drink and some people cut it right down so they're only drinking in the aero position so that would be shorter than this some people have it so that it's easier to drink when they're on the bullhorns in which case it would be slightly longer than this i've got this cut down a little bit in the middle so i can get to it on both so it's not ideal for both but the way I'm riding and the way I was riding uh, at Maastricht uh, it meant I was on the bullhorns for a fair bit wanted to drink when I was climbing and so on but also I wanted to get at it when I was on the aero bars so really good bite valve straw and stiffening tube 
Now we come to the element that an awful lot of you are going to be very interested in, spillage. So what this bottle has is it has a cap on top, which is plastic hinged. And when you're on the go, that's down. Or when it comes to filling, you simply lift it up, open it, and then get your bottle and tip it in. At the moment, we have the, what I tend to call the more standard squishy feed cap, which on its own helps prevent spillage. Uh, but the system also comes with X-Labs solid cap. And I will show you this in situ again with the system on the bike, but this does have a little breathe hole in it so you don't get a vacuum. And the tube simply goes through the outer ring. Obviously it sits in and you pick it up. The difference between the two, this one enables you to put hydro tabs or powder or whatever else you might have on the bike in. It's also arguably slightly quicker to fill with liquid. Um, it's a case of horses for courses. When people, if you want to use this one, you don't need the cap and you can simply pop the cap off. So to fit the base plate, we simply loosen the two top screws lay over, get it to the right width, and you can actually fit it on with them loose, adjust it, and then tighten it up at the time. What you might notice is I've put a little bit of tape around my aero bars. Not a lot, because it will make them very thick, but this just gives a little bit more grip and just protects my aero bars a little bit. So once we've got the width, we simply take the base bar and put it on top and push it on. That's the basic fitting. The Velcro now just needs threading up through its loop, maybe a little pen just to help flick it through, and pulling tight and repeating on the other side. It is as simple as that. If required, we just need to tighten up the two bolts before simply sliding the aero bottle on. And then the last element that we need to do, is just to make sure it's secure, is we need to add the little rubber strap, get it the right way round because it is moulded to fit in with the aero shape of the bottle, goes round and simply clips on to hold it in place. If I now add the top cover, pop the hinge in, it's now in a position to probably use how most people will use the system. And that is, if, I, if I'm on a ride, I get to the aid station, just before the aid station, I simply pop up the cover, I collect my bottle, tip it up and squeeze it in. Bottle out, cover down, and I'm off, I'm good to go. The alternative option is to use the solid cover we can dispense of the cap, just pops off, and we can remove the soft splash cover. And the solid cover simply goes on. We remove the hose, the um, drink straw. The drink straw goes through that cap. It's quite a tight fit here so that we don't get spillage from the straw point. You'll see that it's a long straw. We have to, that goes all the way back down to the bottom of the bottle. There we go. It's that quick to do. And then the solid cap goes on. We don't need, now need to worry about lifting, etc. You're pretty much 100% spill resistant. We do have a little breathe valve here, as I said earlier, so you don't get a vacuum. When it comes to approaching an aid station, one of the tabs here, simply pick it up, move it to the side, you've got a completely open. The only downside of this one is, if it's bumpy at this stage, fluid is obviously open to come. Spin it round, push it back on, and there you go. There we are then, the XLab Hydro Blade aerodynamic front hydration system. 
everything you want comes with it for most people options on the caps etc has this become my now new go-to very very definitely as i say i used it for the first time in anger at ironman maastricht and i was extremely pleased with it and whilst i was very positive about the torpedo and the torpedo relative to other previous front hydration systems was good in terms of its if I say good in its spillage, I don't mean it spilt a lot. It was good in that it restricted spillage, and a lot of that was to do with the same cap here that the torpedo has. However, this is better. This is even better. And the added bonus is that by being vertical, I can access the liquid at different ascent descent angles where the torpedo made it harder at times to access the fluid when I really wanted it. So it's a big, big thumbs up from me. And this is currently on my bike that doesn't have internal bladders, etc. is my go-to hydration system. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And in the description down below is a link to Wiggle, who sell an awful lot of the products that we review on this channel, including XLab products. And every time you go through that link, you don't pay any more, in fact you often get some really good deals, but we receive a tiny proportion of what you spend which helps keep the channel going. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed, then click on the little round picture down there, or you might want to visit the website down there. A couple of reviews for you, up there we have the XLab Torpedo if you want to look at that, and up there Hoka's Speedgoat 5 Trail Shoe. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.